In this video, I'm going to test an assisted leveling system submitted to me by a commenter in my last video. I'll do it on my CR10 Mini right here on this special edition of Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. In a previous video, Ed Goodson had commented that he had this semi-auto leveling code and he gave me a link to Thingiverse. Well, I went there and there's a G-code file you can download. And that G-code file basically moves the head around to four different spots so you can slide a piece of paper underneath the nozzle and adjust your bed. So let me take a look at the G-code and I'll show you what's inside of it. I'll step through it here in case you're not familiar with G-code. Uh, here's a header block and it's commented out plus he has a heated bed command which he commented out and then he has a home the X and Y and Z so it homes the nozzle then it does a beep command and delays a half a second and then does that two more times so basically three beeps to let you know it's going to move then it moves to the X5 Y5 so the front left corner and then he delays 13.5 seconds for you to slide a piece of paper. Then it beeps three times to let you know it's going to move again. Then he moves to the back right corner and then gives you 13.5 seconds again. Then he beeps three times so you can get out of the way, let it move. And then it moves to the front right and then eventually to the back left. The last step, it just lifts itself and moves it towards the front, moves the bed back, and then shuts off the steppers. So it's a handy little G-code file. I'll demonstrate it here on my CR10 Mini. I renamed the file level.gcode so it's easier and I just copied it to the SD card for my CR10 Mini and then I'll bring out my piece of paper that I have from my FlashForge Dreamer that I use to level nozzles. This thing is all beat up but it works great. So here it is homing itself to the upper corner on the CR10 Mini. Let's take a few seconds here but it's going to home itself and then it's going to beep three times and then move to the first position. So there it is at the first position. So now I can slide the piece of paper in. Now my bed's mostly leveled here. So I just slide it in and make sure that uh, the paper just barely rubs back and forth. So it moves the bed just a slight amount. So I just tweak the knob here and we're good. And then it's going to beep again and then move to the right rear. I'll just slide the paper under here as soon as the nozzle's down. And this is good. I don't have to adjust anything. So now my right rear is done and it's going to move to the front. You can hear the three beeps just before it moves. And here's a close up of it. It just comes down to the corner and then you slide your piece of paper underneath it. And you can see the bed just slightly moves when I slide the paper under. That's the way I like to have my bed. Just squishing that first layer down. And this is not heated. Heated will change, you know, a slight amount, but it finally goes to the back corner and you do it one more time with the piece of paper and you notice I'm I'm not doing anything but waiting for this g-code to position it for me all I got to do is just slide my piece of paper so it's very handy and the beeps let me know what it's doing and then once that's done now it just lifts the nozzle moves the bed back and it'll beep three times and say I'm done so that's how it works now what I actually wanted this thing to do was to land on top of the screw heads, not the corners. So I went into the file and I modified the X and Y positions to go on top of the screw heads where the adjustments actually are. And that's what I'm showing here. These are the adjustments that I made. And then once that was done, I left everything else alone. I saved this as a new file called level at screws and ran that. And it's basically the same thing. It's going to home itself and then it's instead of going in just inside the glass like he did it's going to go right on top of the screws where the adjustment nuts and springs are and so here's the first one you can see it goes a lot further in but i like to have it there because that's really where i'm adjusting it if i do it to the outer edges i tend to not get the level that i really want so now it's going to go to the back corner and it's going to go on top of the screw back there so to me, this is a little more accurate than what he had, at least in my opinion. And this is the way I tend to adjust the bed. So I had tweaked it a little bit with, you know, his corner method. And now I'm putting it back. But here it is. You can see it lands right on top of the screw head, the screw and spring. So now if I adjust this, I'm actually adjusting directly below the nozzle. I like it this way better. And then it finishes by going to the back corner, just like before. And slide the piece of paper under there. And this feels really good. So this 
is level. My bed is perfectly level and then it's just going to present itself the same way. It's going to lift up, stop, and disable the steppers. I want to thank Ed for the link to the file. It was really helpful. If you like this type of project, let me know and check out these videos that are popping up. And if you want to see behind the scenes, join us at chepclub.com. That's my new site. And if nothing else, click on the Chep logo and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. That's it. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.